aggravated assaults, um, thefts, all that petty stuff. Um, now, the, does that have any correlation with like, the homeless population or anything like that, or is it just the area? Nah, it's, it's just the area, man. Uh, Houston is the most diverse city. Yeah. So now we have like uh, we have so many different Hispanic gangs now coming down the street. We have like a lot of bloods, and blood gangs and stuff like that. That which they don't be out on the corners or anything like that. Are you part of the resource officers too? Like you going to the school? Yeah, yes sir. So how knowing that you you could be the first interaction that any kid has with an officer? Yeah. Mm -hmm. how, how do you how do you burden that? You know what I'm saying? Like, cause some some kids you do have to reprimand, and some kids, yeah. you know, some kids, that, you know, you don't have to reprimand. For, but. For, first, you try to you try to build a rapport between between you and the kid. Um, majority of kids, um, and when I say kids, I'm talking like teenagers right. and and, um, and and also younger. What they 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 just they looking for somebody that they can trust. Okay. Um, once you tell your story to them, cause everybody has a story, right? And you build that trust between them. And talking to these kids, I tell them my story. Hey man, you know I didn't I didn't grow up with with, with both parents or anything like that, you know. And then they start relating to you. They go, oh man, wow, that's crazy that this person, the police officer, and he ain't grew up with both parents, or or um he he grew up with one parent or whatever the case may be. And they and, and, and you you genuine about it, you know. You're not talking um down to them. You're talking with you, you're talking with them. Okay, and then they start, then they start, they start building trust. And the first couple times, the, remember the first two, three times, you might not get to that kid. They, it might be their dad or their mother or a loved one that they love told them they were gonna do something, didn't do it. As long as you own up to what you what, what you said you're gonna do for these kids or or to these kids or you know um and anything like that, and they start trusting you, you know you you can you can get to these kids, man, and um and that's how I get to them. Um, I, I, I'm not ashamed of my past or anything like that. I tell them, you know, how I grew up, uh, you know, between my mother and dad and stuff like that, who was on drugs and stuff like that. I let them know the whole the whole story, you know, because one, you know, a lot of a lot of them not gonna tell you their story because they they're afraid of what somebody might think of. And then once you tell them, once I tell my story at the beginning, you know, it, it'll be one or two of them be like, hey, yeah, you know, I stay with my my dad because my mother's doing this, this, and this, you know. And that's the only thing, you know, and I try my best, whatever resources I have to to, uh, to uh, help these guys out, whether I have to come out of my own pocket for it or whatever the case may be. And it, it is, it's all simple stuff, you know. And listen, it's, it's been promising. For this, uh, about a year and a half, it's been promising, you know. Well, that's, that's one of the main reasons why we do these programs is the kids, they need trust. They need someone to look up to or someone someone they can relate to and, mm -hmm. and that and that's so far fetched and so what we try to do is bring them to I don't want to say bring them to our level to communicate but be a mutual ground where we come down to their level so they can understand the communication because mm -hmm. a lot of a lot of the times it's the awareness of things the kids make mistakes because they have no options of awareness of not to do here or not to do that there or go here or go not where so it's a matter of providing options and providing some type of programming just Trust, like mm -hmm. just trust somebody and go to and say, man, Officer Burrell, I ain't got nowhere to stay. Yeah. H help, can you help me? And I get these calls all the time from kids mm -hmm. that we mentor and all this stuff. Hey, hey coach, Ali, I ain't got no, I ain't got nowhere to stay. Mm -hmm. right, listen, let's, let's, let me, I can't afford to, to house you for a month, but let, let me, let me call Marriott mm -hmm. and work a deal out where I can get, I can pay for a week, but I can get you two weeks. Mm -hmm. You know, so there's, there's things that, you know, they might not have the knowledge or not know the trust to come to to ask for help and a lot of times mm -hmm. it's about asking for help and a lot yeah. of times they don't go ask for help man. so I, I want to thank both of y'all for taking time to help me and help us impact the community because that's that's where it starts man that's, yes, that's why I do this because you see it you see the kids you're like man I see I was you mm -hmm. and so you want to try to grab them and try to be like no you don't got gotta do you got to do it like yeah. this yeah. You could do it like this and still do like this, but do it like this, you know, or just give them another way, another option. But it's, it's, it's just hard when you don't have the support um, of the people that should be supporting you, you know, and, and, and trying to make a difference in the community. But if, if your calling is that, then you'll make a difference, you know. Yes, so. well, like, like I said, man, uh, it's crazy that me and D got a similar story. We was talking before. Before, um, before you guys, and we was just talking about just like what we grew up and how we grew up and stuff, it's, and it's very similar, you know. So, 
you know, and, and we got and we in two different um, professions, you know. Right. So, you know, it's just it's just a blessing, you know, that, that we can all come together uh, for the for the great for for the, for our futures. Because all these kids, like I tell them, hey man, um, just be passionate about whatever you do, right. you know. Um, and, and, and 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 like I was telling D, my main thing is, man, if you got if you got some type of self discipline and uh, self motivation. And you respect uh, for yourself and others, man. You're gonna you're gonna be successful in life. Oh yeah. Well, whatever you do. You're gonna be successful, baby. Good job. Good job. Two! <laughs>